Compression is one of the most classical and often needed audio processing effect you will ever use in your career. But what if we use it in a different way? Welcome to What's the Deal series, where we check out some audio related stuff that you may or may not have heard about. In today's episode, we're going to talk about parallel compression. Parallel compression is nothing new to the mixing world. In fact, it's one of the most used mixing techniques, dating back to 1965 when engineer Ray Dolby and his company name after his last name came out with the Dolby Noise Reduction System, more specifically their Dolby A, a device that is used to increase the volume of a recording when the source material was not already loud. To accomplish this, the machine has parallel buses or channels and applies heavy compression to one of them. Then these two channels were mixed in a flexible ratio. To put it in a simple way, parallel compression is a technique where you take the original signal, duplicate it, add heavy compression to it, and then mix them together. This gives the original signal more presence and character without adding more volume or gain. This technique works really great with main vocals, um, bass guitar, lead guitar, um, it will work really great with any sound or instrument that you want to pop up from the mix. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a quick example of how to apply parallel compression to a vocal track. I'm going to be using Ableton Live 11. It doesn't matter which DAW you use. This technique is going to work just as fine in whichever DAW you are working with. With that being said, let's check out the track. Now she's quiet all the time The hours of the job and mind the crime Never ever gonna get those days back So now as you can see I have already some processing on these vocals I have an auto tube, an EQ, a little compression and a gate to reduce the noise this compression is adding to the signal now, you may be wondering why the heck don't we just add more volume to the vocals? That's because you don't want to mess up with your gain setup that much. Adding more gain to or volume to your vocals may result in your lead guitar needing more volume, your drums needing more volume, your pianos needing more volume, and that's going to result in a much louder mix. Your headroom is going to be so low that working on a master is going to be impossible. So that's why parallel compression is so useful. Now let's work on the actual technique. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna need is to create what's called an auxiliary bus so we can send our dry signal and heavy compress it. On Ableton, we have two ways of creating an auxiliary send. The first way is to go here to create, uh, insert return track. It will create your return track right here. And on this return track, you can add as many effects as you want. And as, as soon as you're done working on your effects, you can go to your mixing window and on this section right here, you can add as much signal as you want on this little knob. You can also add as much signal as you want uh, below the volume meters right here. This is the first way to create an auxiliary scent. The second way, which is actually my favorite, is to create what's called an audio effect rack. To create an audio effect rack, you just simply need to take whichever plugin you want, uh, insert it in the track you're working in, and on the plugin, press Command G or Control G. This will create the audio effect rack, and in here you can create chains or auxiliary sense. These are all independent and you can add as many chains as you feel like. For this example, we will need just two. The one with our compressor, which we call power comp, and the one with our dry signal. Now let's work on the actual parameters of the compressor. For the heavy compression, we will need a high ratio, maybe 10 to one. 
a fast attack and a slow release maybe 60 milliseconds could be right and a low threshold please keep in mind that these parameters will change a little bit depending on the signal you are working with but for now let's check out the vocals and see how we're doing now she's quiet all the time the hours of the job of mind the crime never ever gonna get those days back now she's quiet all the time the hours of the job of mind the crime never ever gonna get those days back we'll add some makeup gain and reduce the output a little bit now she's quiet all the time the hours of the job of mind the crime never ever gonna get those days back yeah i like it there and the only thing that's left is to mix this compression with the dry signal. Now she's quiet all the time, the hours of the job of mind the crime. Never ever gonna get those days back. Let's check it out with the track. Now she's quiet all the time, the hours of the job of mind the crime. Never ever gonna get those days back. Why you As you can hear the vocals now jump from the mix, they're kind of in your face right now. And we actually didn't add that much gain to our meter. Now she's quiet all the time, the hours of the job of mind the crime. Never ever gonna get those days back. And yeah, that's a quick look into the parallel compression technique. And that is everything for this video, guys. If you liked it or if you consider the content useful, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. That would help me a ton. Also, if you have suggestions for a future video, leave a comment in the comment sections below. I would really appreciate that. And yeah, guys, um, hope you have a beautiful day and see you on the next one.